Hey y'all, this is Loving Hip Hop Hollywood Review. Okay, season two, episode six. Now, the link to the full episode will be down below in the description box, but I'm gonna let y'all know this is my last week of doing this whole link thing, okay? People that's been with me long enough, y'all should know by now where to get the links from. And plus, you know, it's really, it's against YouTube guidelines. So, you you know, I can get flagged for it. And I'm not trying to lose my channel. And on top of that, you know, I want people to come to my channel. My channel. <laughs> channel. My channel for me. Okay? Not because I, I posted a link. I want them to come to my channel and... You know, watch my reviews and actually enjoy it, okay? Like my video because you enjoy it, okay? So, yeah, I mean, I, I want a real connection. I don't want people just clicking on it just so they can get the uh, the link and then they off, okay? If not, you might as well, you know, unsubscribe. Don't watch, whatever, but I want something real, all right? So... We're going to go ahead and get into this, but, yeah, even the thumbnails, you know, really I'm not even supposed to be putting up a thumbnail from the show or whatever. So, and I have gotten flags for it. So, I'm done with that. So, this is going to be just strictly reviews, all right? So, after this week, y'all should know where to go ahead and get your, your episodes from. Alright, so that was two minutes wasted. Well, not wasted, but let's get into it. First off is Princess Love Big Ass. <laughs> I look, I, I'm straight, but I was like, damn, she got ass. But, any <laughs> but anyways, she moving out, okay, because she done with Ray. Okay, what man would make his woman go to jail? Okay, not a real man, a bitch ass nigga, like she said. So she packs, she leaves, she got the movers, whatever. She goes out with the girls, um, April, um, Nia, somebody else, I can't remember. But they go out, she tells them that she broke up with Ray, and what bitch ass man will let their girl go to jail for them. Okay, so she's done, he's done, plus Tierra has been you know, setting her up every time they go hang out or she wants, you know, to hang out with Tierra, Tierra goes in and tells Ray, and then Ray comes with attitude, so in his mind, he already knew it was over, and she knew it was over too, so, child please, I don't know about that, okay, she's one of those people, you know them people that, that say they gonna break up. Oh, I'm done. I'm really done this time. And then next thing you know, they back together two days later. Okay, so she she moved out, but I think she'll be back. And I don't even put my energy into that. I don't even believe people that, that constantly break up to make up. Okay, so anyway, so she goes and invites Tia to this day party. And she already asked the girls to come because she wants their support. So, she confronts Tierra at the day party, and, you know, Tierra and Monice walk up, they hug everybody, they say hi, and she was like, Monice is like, uh, so I'm not used to this, are y'all friends now? And Tierra was like, I wouldn't say we friends, but, you know, we're cool, and Prince is like, are we not friends? And she was like, well, I, I take friendship a little more seriously. And she was like, hmm, okay, so are you still keeping in contact with Ray? Well, I text him, hmm, typical. So, Tia was like, look, princess, okay, you got to be a little bit more smarter than that. You can't be coming at me or coming at somebody a year ago and attacking me and think I'm going to be your friend. And she was like, so that whole 
you know, moment we had in the nail, the nail, whatever, nail salon, she was like, that wasn't real. She was like, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to kick a bitch when she down. But, you know, what do you expect? What do you expect me to do? You kicked me while I was down. Tear girl. I said it once. I may even said it twice. I'm going to say it again. You wrong. Okay. You are wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right, baby. Yes, they were wrong. They did play you. They did you wrong. Princess even said, you know, she talked about your whole yeast infections. I believe you should have whooped her ass for that. Okay. At that moment. And, you know, her and Ray, they try to play you. And Berg, they try to play you on the reunion. They are wrong. But this girl was genuine with you. She genuinely thought that y'all was friends. It was like she caught feelings for you. <laughs> you know, and you just played with it. Like, you wrong for that. I'm sorry you wrong. It wasn't cool at all. The girl is hurt. She heard that she found out that y'all not friends. So it's not cool. She out here, she hit Tierra in the face because Tierra just basically like, well, you got to be smart in that. So, psh, bitch, you should have been quicker than that. <laughs> so they, they basically, security guards holding them back. Monice then took her water and threw it at Princess hair and fucked up her damn silk press. Okay, now her hair turning all curly. And she like, you know, you 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 was an ungenuine bitch. You was an ungenuine bitch. You dirty. You dirty. That's why you suck everybody dick. Okay? You just want to get back with Ray. Who? I don't want to get back with Ray. Uh-huh. You said you want to get me out the house so you can move back in. Tara, like, I didn't say that. Who told her I said that? And I'm like... Now, I didn't hear Tierra say that. I didn't even think that that was her motive. I just thought she was just trying to be vindictive. Okay? So, she, you know, she's like, who said it? Who said it? And she's like, Ray said it. That's a liar! And then she hit Tierra again. <laughs> Tell me, like, girl, you had it coming. Okay? You around here laughing. How you 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 being karma to this bitch and you you know you doing her this and it's so dirty. You made yourself look like you cannot be trusted. You don't play with people feelings like that. And it's just not cool. I know that they did you wrong. They did you wrong. Y'all should realize Ray has a lot to do with you know y'all issues with each other. Yes, Princess, you shouldn't have been her side, you know, his side chick while they were together. You shouldn't have did that either. But, I mean, you look, Tara, I like you, girl, but this ain't no good look for you. So, she was like, oh, that's all right, because you fat, bitch. Tara gave me, oh, bitch, I will fuck you up. <laughs> she had a nerve when she called her fat. And she was like, uh-huh. That's all right. You such a one bitch. And Tia steady laughing. I'm like, girl, she is crying. Why is you laughing? She crying. And she like, you an ungenuine bitch. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to get you. And I'm going to get you too, bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, she going to get my niece too, huh? Damn, my niece. I mean... Monisa was just trying to be a ride or die friend, but I mean, shit. I don't know who y'all think will win, okay? Tierra from Detroit probably got hands. Monisa, we didn't already seen her snatch up Amanda last year. That shit was funny when she said, I told you, don't talk to me like that. That little, that skinny chick, she got some strength. Okay, it was, it was almost like crackhead strength. Anyways, and, hell, Princess Ash used to be a stripper. I actually have a guy. Okay, and you know them strippers, they fight to the death. So, who y'all think will win? Y'all let me know. Anyways, so, moving on, who's next? Willie and Chandra. Willie is 
Shonda, or I was about to say Chandra, whatever. Willie is stressed out. He got all these big bills, and he ain't got no money to pay for them. So he goes to meet up with his old manager from day 26 days, Screwface, to, you know, ask him, can they make moves together? Basically, because Screwface, he didn't basically moved on up to another department or whatever. And he got, you know, the connections and everything. And he want to know if he can be down so he can make some money because he got bills, high bills, and they ain't got no money. So Screwface was like, I would love to help you, but really you got to speak to Harry and you got to get out your little uh you know label situation so willie feeling you know fucked up because the label basically they didn't spend two hundred and fifty thousand on him okay and he doubt if they gonna let his ass go plus shonda is on his back because bills need to be paid so she's thinking about getting back on the pole so willie now they in the car, Shonda like, you know, what are we going to do? He was like, you're not going to get back on that pole. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to get on that pole. Why can't you get a regular job? Because I ain't a regular bitch, okay? And we ain't got regular bills, okay? So let me do what I got to do. And he like, no, I, I'm going to handle it. All right, and and plus I'm working on some things anyway. She was like, "You never keep me in the loop. You don't never tell me what's happening. That's why you know stuff be messing up. Why you don't be telling me?" He was like, "All right, so look, I saw the screw face, and they said they really you know considering me getting on this major." And she was like, "Okay." She was like a little little gold digging heat. Like. <laughs> She was like, oh, okay, that's good. And he was like, but I got to get out of my my uh label first. And she was like, <sighs> it's like wishful thinking. She's so negative, but girl, I get you not a regular bitch, okay? I get the whole not want to be nine to five life. I get it, trust me. But... Even with that, that don't mean your ass have to get on the pole. Go model or something. Go do some sexy photo shoots. Go do something other than jumping your ass on the pole. You got kids now and a husband. You can't be doing that. I mean, really. And Willie. Nah, I know stuff ain't as easy as it seems. But, nigga, you got a talent. And so you should be really out there hustling, even if label can't do nothing for you right now. You should be trying to do any little show, little club spots, appearance, you know, well, appearance. But, you know, contest, singing, whatever the hell you can do to just be paying them bills right now. Because you do got a family to take care of. So, I mean, you should be out there really hustling. Okay. So... Willie ends up going to meet with his, his indie label, I guess, Harry, and they talk about, you know, you know, stuff is getting stressful, and these majors, they coming to me with, you know, offers on the table. And he like, okay, well, I'm going to tell you this, don't let family stuff push you to make a decision that's not going to be good for you. So basically, he's telling you, look, don't be stupid, okay? You even try. <laughs> you even try to leave me. Okay, your ass don't be sued. So he like, look, I just really want to ask you if I can get out of this label. He was like, look, that's going to be a hard situation, okay? I'm going to have to talk to my partners about it. You know, don't count on it. But nigga, I mean, how you going to tell him? Don't let family pressure you. He got to feed his family. And I get, you can't just let him go. At least get this, this fool some more money or something so he can pay some bills. Do something. Okay? Try to get him some booking, something, so he can do make some money. Because damn, Willie, they got you on here looking like you scratching and surviving. Good times. Okay? 
So get it together. Next is uh Nikki, Miss Nikki Baby, and Miss Lil Crazy, Lil B. Okay, they all working out. They ain't seen each other since the whole studio situation. And Nikki tells Lil B <clears throat> that, you know, the whole lunch situation with, I can't think of the self as name. Start with A, don't it? Uh, with Jason and Hazel. Well, I was about to say A. With Jason and Hazel and how... You know, he just goes and throws water in her face. And she like, oh, no. Okay. Nikki is like my little sister. Okay. And don't nobody fucks with my family or my friends. So, I'm going to see about this Jason Lee. And I'm like, girl, you going to sit your ass down somewhere. This had nothing to do with you. So she Nikki ends up telling him she has an event. She gonna be classy. She going to invite Jason Lee, and you know let her know that's not how we do things. And I'm gonna show him how I do how we do. So they had an event. Uh, Nikki's getting her makeup done. Jason Lee decides he wants to bring Kamaya. I don't know what the hell you was thinking. He talking about some. Well, uh. You know, Kamaya is very young in the game, and she don't need to become with enemies. So I decided to bring her so they could talk it out. No, you's a messy ass blogger, and you wanted to a, a big ass messy situation. That's what that you wanted. Mm-hmm. You ain't slick. So, anyways, he comes in there with Kamaya, introduces himself to Lil B, and Lil B was like. Mm. Yeah, I know who you are. And she don't shake his hand. He was like, oh, okay. And <clears throat> then she proceeds to tell him about himself and how dirty he was for throwing a drink in the female's face. Now, he like, you wasn't even there. Good point. Sit your ass down. You was not there. Even though he was wrong, he was there wrong. You was a little bitch for throwing a drink in the female's face. She didn't even do anything to you. Now, I, I did hear. Okay. I ain't messy, so you ain't heard it from me. Okay. I did hear that they cut the part out when Hazel said you just mad because of your relationship with blah, blah. <laughs> Y'all look it up on y'all own if y'all want to know who the relationship was about. Because I'm still a little crushed inside. The little the little child in me just had her little feelings crushed when I heard this. This person had a, a down low relationship with Jason Lee. And, uh, yeah, he didn't like that too much. And they, they basically cut that whole out because they don't want no type of lawsuit actions. Because, you know, the person is not out there with it okay so they supposedly allegedly still in the closet so y'all looked at it if y'all want to know more about that but he threw the drink in her face you was dirty for it little b over there going off on him he was like look i didn't come here to get attacked by you and your little chihuahua <laughs> she was like chihuahua i'm sorry Okay, I don't try to talk about nobody's appearance or anything on here. But when he said Chihuahua, girl, it fits you. Okay, you is just too hype. You just like a little dog just barking and barking. Just, just sit down. Just sit down somewhere. Like, it has nothing to do with you. So they arguing, they yelling. Nikki, you know, then he flipped the script on Nikki. Look, how you going, you know, this is what you did the last time. You always trying to ambush me, and I don't appreciate this. And she was like, what? The last time you came at Hazel. And yes, Nikki did not know about your problems. Hell, Hazel didn't even know about your problems. So, how you going to say she ambushed you? You started it. Okay, so whatever that is, you need to fix that. So, anyways, Kamai was like, well, I came here to talk to you about uh, our situation. She was like, uh, bitch, last time I seen you, you tried to hit me. 
And she was like, so, you know, we ain't got nothing to talk about. She was like, okay, well, I tried to talk to you. I tried to tell you that I was wrong for it. But Nikki all in her feelings, she, you know, so she ain't on it right now. Anyways, next is <clears throat> Miles. Now, Miles is shooting his video for his song, West Coasting. And he up there, he can rap. Okay, but I wasn't feeling what he was rapping about, okay? Him talking about, yeah, I'm killing the pussy. Yeah, maybe he's bi. Okay, but I thought your ass was faking as hell. And then you sitting there talking about, yeah, me and my niggas, we got our glocks. I usually, I'm not one of them, one of them people they come for people, you know, that are so-called saved and or Christian and, you know, they got flaws and stuff. We all got flaws. But what I do not like is how you said in the past that you were a youth pastor and now you own this video bragging about your guns and killing the pussy and stuff like that. Okay, that's not cool to me because... You were a youth pastor. I'm sure there are still some of those kids that still look up to you. And now they see you on the video talking about you got your lock and, and all this this game banging and stupid shit. I don't, I don't appreciate that. As soon as they say cut, it was like the acting just stopped. And then he goes and tries to call Milan. Milan is not answering. I'm missing my muffet, y'all. Yes, my big grown ass watch Muffets. <laughs> so Milan, you know, he doing whatever little photo shoot on the beach. I don't know what the hell was going on. He get his phone and he ignores it. You know, Miles is a little hurt by it, but even more than that, he needs to go ahead and tell Amber about that whole situation about him being gay. So, he calls Amber, tells her, look, I found a therapist. I want you to meet me there. She like, cool, of course I will. So, Amber goes to meet up with her sister. And she was like, you know, this whole situation with Miles, you know, it's, you know, it's a lot. But, you know, uh, it's, it's fine. I love him. He's, you know... I'm like his Barbie doll, and he like my Ken doll. You know, I dress him, and I'm like, okay. And then her sister, Angel, was like, well, maybe you should kind of take this as like, you know, you should open your eyes and pay attention. It's like she know, and she trying to tell her because, you know, Amber says Angel grew up with the both of them, okay? And he talks to Angel, and they all family. So she like, well, maybe you need to open your eyes. And if this is not what you want it to be, you should probably put your big girl panties on and deal with it. So she was like, well, it's, you know, it's cool. We're going to therapy. And, you know, I really think this is the start of something. I'm like, damn, he shouldn't have been leading her on like this. Even if he didn't want to come out just yet or whatever, you should have just been real with her. And said, you know, <clears throat> I'm in a relationship with somebody else. So, you you got her hopes all up. Anyways. So, he's at therapy. He's telling the therapist, you know, he wants to come out to a Amber. And, you know, let her know that he's been in a relationship with the man. And he starts crying, and the therapist is like, well, you telling her, you about to tell all her this this heavy stuff, okay? This this going to be a hard day for you and her. So, next thing you know, it's, it's like 8.56, okay, when I'm watching this. And I'm like, they playing with us. They, love and hip hop, y'all get on my damn nerves, okay? You going to show some. That people been waiting on to see. I've been waiting on him to tell her for a long time now. It's, we on the sixth episode. I've been waiting on you to tell her that you gay. And then it's 856. I'm like, I know they about to drag this out. 
Okay, soon they're going to show her coming in there and he's going to tell her next episode that he gained. We ain't going to be able to get to see it to the next episode. So anyways, he, you know, she, they show her getting out the car. The next thing you know, they come to a cut to a public service announcement where Miles is like, if you or anybody else you know that is dealing with finding their truth, or dealing with the truth, and they have not come out to their family or friends yet. Call one eight hundred. Come out the closet. Like I'm, <laughs> I was, I was so pissed off. I was like, why would they do that? Like, I just, I really wanted to see that. But what I did see on, you know, clips the next week episode, Amber ain't gonna be taking this easy at all. And I might cry up because I feel so bad for her. I was like, oh, Amber. You know, but that's it for this episode. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Y'all got Instagram. I ain't really put no pictures up like that yet, but I got Instagram, y'all. Jazz, J-A-Z underscore Chapman. Peace.